Hi there. Today, let's look at how to sew a line dress with keyhole neckline and ratchet sleeve. I used 3 yards script fabric for it and it is beginner friendly. If this is something you'd love to learn, please do stick and stay and let's do it together. In case you have any style that you'd want me to do a video on, please share with me in the comment section. Let's get started. Before we'll be able to sew this style, we first would have to fold it on crossway or on bias. Then, we would mark our shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder measurement. But then we'll first have to look at the point from the top here downwards where we'd get our shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder measurement, which has been divided by 2 plus our allowance for setting in our sleeve. And so, the shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder measurement for this client is 16. Divided by 2 gives us 8 inches plus quarter of an inch that I would use to set in my sleeve. And so, 8 and quarter. So... From here, this is where I get eight and quarter to mark. I'll mark one and a half inches for the shoulder slope. After this, I'll mark three inches as neck width. Then I'll draw a line to connect the neck width to the shoulder slope. From here, I would want to locate my arm depth. The arm depth measurement is derived by dividing our around arm measurement or the bicep measurement into two and then adding any ease as you would wish. And so our around arm measurement is 16 inches. Divided by two gives us eight plus one inch ease. On this line, which is seven as our chest line, I'll divide the bust measurement into four. The bust for this client is 49. 49 divided by four gives us 12 and quarter. And so I'll mark 12 and quarter plus the seam allowance I'd want to add. From here, we'll divide our arm depth measurement into three and then we'll pick one, marking it from our chest line upwards. And so the arm depth is 9 inches. Divided by 3 gives us 3 inches. So we'll mark 3 inches from the chest line upwards. On this line, we would mark our across back measurement and then add allowance, which will be used for setting our sleeve. And so the across back measurement is also 16 inches. Divided by 2 gives us 8 plus quarter seam allowance for setting our sleeve. Eight and quarter. Then we'll add half of an inch as allowance for the back because the dress is a bit loose. The next step would be to mark the length before which we would add the gathers beneath. That is 30 inches. Meaning from the arm depth or the chest line to the length is giving me 20 inches. I'll mark the same thing on the other side. And connect. I would use the 20 inches I got here and trace till it touches the side of our fabric. Then we draw a straight line from this point to touch the length. This being the back pattern, I'll mark three quarters of an inch as the neck depth. I'll go ahead and cut this out.
after we're done with this, we would use the same thing to also cut another piece so that we get two pieces, one for the front and one for the back. After I've gotten the length and cut this whole thing, I'd want to reduce the size a bit. And so what I'll do is to divide the hip measurement by four, and then I'll add eight inches to it, then my seam allowance. And so the hip is 50 inches divided by four gives us 12 and a half. Then we add eight inches to it. Then we add two inches as seam allowance. Now, I'll draw a line to connect this to the side seam. If you want to increase the fullness, you can also use this whole thing. That's if the fabric is enough. This is the front and that is the back. Since I wouldn't want to fix any zipper at the back, I would further want to extend the neck width by one inch to make it four instead of the three I did earlier. And I'll further reduce the front neck depth by three and a half inches. And I'll connect these two points using an arc. I'll do the same for the back. I've extended the width by one inch, but then I'm maintaining the neck depth for the back. We'll then do away with the back and then deal with the front. And so for the keyhole you see right here, I'll measure two inches from the neck width towards the shoulder. And then draw the hole so I get back to where that same point is. We'll go ahead and cut off the hole. So I'll go ahead and run over lock stitches along the keyhole line I've just cut here. After neatening, after neatening our keyhole, we'll go ahead and stitch the edges to the wrong side so that the good side looks finished. So we're just stitching about a quarter of an inch all along the keyhole cut we did. So we'll go ahead and give this a good press. After pressing our keyhole, we'll come and place the front and back good sides together. Making sure that with the front, the shoulder lies right at this side of the back. And then the other one also lie very close to the neck width. And so there will be a little space in between the two here. We just pin this down and then we stitch. When it comes to the other hand, the two will be stitched together fully. We'll go ahead and run overlock stitches on the two shoulder seams we just did. After knitting the shoulder edges, we'll go ahead and top stitch the seam allowance to the back side. Like this. 
we're going to stitch it to this side so that the seam allowance doesn't poke at the front side. It should rather be top stitched onto the back side of our garment. With this done, we would also go ahead and run over lock stitches on the neck hole and then we'll stitch just as we did for the key hole we have here. In addition to neatening the neckline, I also neatened the other parts of the garment as well. And so we'll go ahead and then finish the neckline. Once our neckline is done, we'll go ahead and mark I'll see my allowances off and come back to stitch. The sleeve would have to be cut on bias, as you see. But then, because my fabric is actually not enough, I used three yards instead of four yards because I miscalculated the whole thing. And so I would want to fold this on again so that I'll get two of the sleeves at a go. But when I do this, the sleeve becomes quite slim. And so the excess I got after I trimmed off the edges of the bodice itself, that is what I would want to use to augment this whole thing. And so I would want to use this as a supplement where they'll be joining at this part to be able to get a wider sleeve at the down here especially and also to be able to get it fully at this side as well. That is where the cap would be. And so what I'm going to do is that I would insert this on just a little beneath this and then mark it all together. And so I'll do it like this. The arm depth from here to here of the dress itself give us nine inches. And so I'll fetch nine inches from this side and then add our seam allowance, which was about two inches also to it down here. And so, you know, I'm getting like 11 inches at this side. On that line, I'll move backwards by about six inches. And this would be where my cap would be. And so this is my six inches. And then I'll mark my sleeve cap and then the armhole. I would measure from this point all the way to the cup. And I get about 13 inches. So I would measure from the top here all the way to the armhole and see if I get the same 13 inches. And when I measure this, I get exactly the same thing. And so it means I'll be able to fix this sleeve into the armhole of the dress. Now, let's get our sleeve length. I'd want the sleeve length to be 21. And this is before we add our cuff to the hem. And so we'll go ahead and cut this. And afterwards, I'll open this, join these two to the down part, and then the other two we had left would also be added to be able to get our full sleeve as we see here. Now, I'm going to use this same fabric to also cut out the other part. So that just as I said, I'll use this to augment the length for the other sleeve as well. Right now, we're going to join the pieces together so that we get our full sleeves for both the left and then the right part of our garment. 
After getting our sleeve intact, we'll go ahead and cut this fabric, two strips of them. This is three inches wide and then 19 and a half inches long. This is also 46 inches long and then three inches wide. What you are doing with this is that we are going to fold half of an inch inward and then we would also fold this till we get one and a half inches. Just as we have for this, we are finishing the edge and then we are folding these two inward. We want one and a half inches and then 19 inches long. We are going to place this at the center line of our sleeve. Where we match the rough edges to the cup and we leave about two inches at the bottom here. And so we're going to stitch this on. After that, this is also the strip that we are going to use to gather at the center, as you see with the style. And so we have used this measurement, as I said, to also ascertain this. We're just finishing one side of it. We finish the edge and the other edge as well but then leaving a little space here so that we can turn the whole thing inside out. We'll turn this inside out and then we'll come back to continue. Whereas we also stitch this onto our sleeve. After we have neatly stitched our strap on our sleeve, we'll then insert the two strips that we cut. With the help of this tapestry hook, we've been able to pull our straps through the lines. We'll go ahead and stitch this side of the cap to secure the straps. And repeat same for the other side. The next step would be to run two loose stitches on the edge of our sleeve. After the stitches, then we'll pull the threads in order to give us the gathers. We'll continue till we are done with gathering the whole of the sleeve. And so right now, I've cut this for the calf. It measures six and a half inches in width. And with a length, it has 11 inches length. What I'm going to do is to fold this into two and would have three and a quarter. We're going to fix this onto our gathered edge. And so we're going to stitch this on from start to finish. And we do the same for the other sleeve as well. After we are done with this, we'll go ahead and seal the inseam, sewing off the seam allowance as we had added. The whole length is 164 inches. And so it's this plus this, which we are going to, which are going to sew together to get the full length. After knitting both edges, we'll go ahead and hem one side of it. We have gathered, we have gathered the last piece, making sure that the length is equal to the length of the base of the rest of our dress. And so right now, we're going to join this onto the hem as we have here. So we are done. We're fixing the base to the rest of the dress. We'll now go ahead and then fix our sleeve into our armhole. So we're matching this and then we'll match the inseam as well to the side seam.
will go ahead and stitch this whole thing. And we'll pick seam for the other side of our garment. Thank you so much for watching. We are back next week.